The small, historical town of Auburn, New York, is home to many great cemeteries, none of which, however, have quite the same historical significance as Auburn's very own Fort Hill Cemetery. Fort Hill Cemetery was originally incorporated on May 15, 1851, under the official name Trustees of the Fort Hill Cemetery Association of Auburn. The approximately 3,615 square feet long cemetery gets its name from being located on a massive hillside that once housed a fortified village for the Cayuga Indian tribe during the mid-16th century. Following the formation of the Iroquois Confederacy, the tribe left the area to find new homes, although faint traces of the original fort are still preserved to this very day. Fort Hill Cemetery was first dedicated on July 7, 1852, and originally contained 22 acres of land. Today, the cemetery currently features 83 acres and houses nearly 22,000 memorials within more than 20 different land lots. Aside from originally housing a defense fort for the Cayuga Indians, Fort Hill Cemetery is most famously known for featuring headstones of many famous historical figures that are considered an important part of upstate New York history. One of these figures is Theodore Willard Case. Theodore Case was a world-famous inventor known for creating the very first commercially successful soundtrack for motion pictures. Theodore ran his own private research lab out of a greenhouse located behind the property that would eventually become known as the Keegan Museum, located on Genesee Street in the heart of downtown Auburn. Sylvester Willard, a very religious man, he uh, built the uh, home which is now the Keegan Museum. He had a couple of daughters, and one of those daughters married into the Case family, and eventually Theodore Case, uh, one of the sons, ended up with the uh, building, and he had use of the greenhouses behind the museum. During that time, he started experimenting uh, with a bunch of different uh, electronic uh, devices, and he developed a photo cell which would react to when light was shining on it. And eventually, it was thought that it could be used for military purposes. And that was the original intent. And eventually they found that sound could be modulated on this beam of light and could be read by this photo cell. And eventually it was found that it was ideal for putting sound on film. And it was the system of choice up until probably about 10, 15 years ago when digital finally came in. But until then it was still used in the same fashion that it was invented. Here in Auburn. Other notable figures include Harriet Tubman, leader of the Underground Railroad, William H. Seward, a ranger of the Alaskan Purchase, and former Colnell football star Jerome Brud Holland, who also became the first African American director of the New York Stock Exchange. These few names are only a fraction of the notable figures that lie within the cemetery grounds. As great as it is to walk around the cemetery and notice all these amazing headstones, the main attractions of Fort Hill are without a doubt the Logan's Monument and the Bradley Chapel. Logan's Monument was built in the early 1850s to honor former Cuban Nation leader Chief Logan, also known by his birth name, Tagajut. This iconic monument, made entirely of native stone, stands at an astounding 56 feet height. It is often considered one of the most striking monuments in the vast cemetery. Although Logan himself is not actually buried at the cemetery, legends have said he was originally born at the site when it was occupied by the Cayugas over 200 years ago. A marble slab is seen on the north side of the monument, coining the phrase, Who is there to mourn for Logan? The Bradley Chapel was built as a generous gift from Jane Loomis Bradley, in honor of her late husband, Silas L. Bradley. It originally opened in 1893, and then later had an office expansion added onto it in 1928. The chapel is well known for its Gothic-like architecture and numerous stained glass windows. 
Because of its design, this historical chapel is often considered an ideal spot for many special events, such as weddings, concerts, and funeral services. Both of these monuments are considered essential pieces of Fort Hill history. Over the years, however, the structures on both of these monuments had been severely weathered due to age and nature. Thankfully, however, in recent years, extensive renovation projects have been performed in order to restore and preserve these historical artifacts. Today, Fort Hill Cemetery continues to operate as a non-profit organization, dedicated to preserving the site for the historical landmark that it is. The Town of Owasco's Historian Office often provides walking tours for groups of all ages, including third grade students from Auburn's very own Seward Elementary School, named after William H. Seward himself. Because of past issues with vandalism, young visitors are encouraged by their tour guides to preserve Fort Hill for what it is, a piece of history. Because we've seen an awful lot of vandalism in the cemetery, and I thought maybe we should get to some of the youngsters and, and get in their heads and make them think about what, what's been happening here. There are a lot of tombstones that have been pushed over and damaged. A lot of things go on in, in here at night, which are not very savvy. So what I did is I wrote a pledge and we have all of the students when they come in and put their hand on their heart and they repeat after me and they say a pledge. And the pledge, basically what the, uh, the pledge says is that this is a historic place. It, it's not just a, a playground that each one of these stones represents a person, a human being who is alive. And I try to bring some pictures so that I can show them some of these people who are behind some of these tombstones. And that this is, this is a place that should be like a museum. It should be loved, it should be treasured, it should be taken care of, that it's not fun to, to smash stones and to come in and bust it up, that, that these are people and this is history and it needs to be preserved. And they all take a pledge that they will help to preserve the history of Fort Hill and never think about destroying any of it. Thanks to its massive size, Guests can navigate through the historic gated cemetery on foot or on wheels. The Fort Hill Cemetery Association welcomes visitors of all ages to the historic site. With nearly 170 years of history, Fort Hill Cemetery in Auburn is a one-of-a-kind historical landmark that deserves to be visited and especially to be preserved.